Horizon Zero Dawn is an open-world action survival game set in a distant future where robotic creatures roam and dominate the Earth. You play as Aloy, a woman raised as an outcast in seeking to uncover the secrets of the world. The game was developed by Guerrilla Interactive for the PS4, and today we will answer one question. Should you play Horizon Zero Dawn? First up, let's talk about visual presentation. Horizon is a breathtakingly gorgeous game. Environments are varied, which keeps the game feeling fresh and makes the world feel immense. Players visit icy mountain ranges, lush jungles, open plains, rocky canyons, and more. The biomes are extremely well placed as well, allowing for some time to transfer so the player never has that feeling of, oh, guess I'm on a beach now, two steps after leaving a frozen tundra. The game does a tremendous job of keeping the environment moving and intimate. Fields of grass sway in the wind, canyon rocks change color depending on the time of day, and the unpredictable weather patterns all reinforce the authenticity of the environment. Lighting through forests sends sun shafts and minor glare into the screen, that kind of glare that makes the player's skin feel a degree warmer. Horizon features many subtle details like this that really add up to make the world feel tangible. Human models look lifelike and believable, minus some occasional stale-looking faces and side characters during cutscenes. Alo herself is animated very well, showing great range in emotional expression and fluid movement animations. The machines look phenomenal as well, appearing as if they were real animals that lost their hides and were structured that way the whole time. Cords and wires mimic the sinew of muscle and armor plating is reminiscent of bones and horns. The lighting in their eyes and body accents reflects their mood, calm, cautious, and alarmed, and send bright lens flares into the screen like something out of a Michael Bay movie. It certainly adds an otherworldly sense to the creatures, and can notify the player of off-screen danger as well. Next, let's talk about sound and music. Down you go. Overall, the audio design on Horizon is excellent. One of the most obvious elements is the way the machines sound, a unique and often surreal combination of organic and technological sounds. The audio team did an excellent job of making the machines sound authentic and emotional. Whether they are roaring while charging aggressively at you, or bellowing in pain as you unleash a barrage of pointy things into their soft spots while they're roped down. Weapon noises are snappy and empowering. Whether it is the whistling of arrows, the whipping of your spear, or the harsh bolting of the rope caster, they all sound just like those weapons would if they existed. Voice acting is good overall, with a few slip-ups and some of the game's less prominent missions, and music in Horizon is diverse and effective in relaying the intended emotion. The songs can make the world feel mysterious, primal, dangerous, and wondrous, and play at times that fit so well, they sink into the game effortlessly. But the game is also strong when music is not playing so it isn't overdone. At times, it is nice to only hear the wind, a rushing river, or the echoes of a machine stomping in the distance. Now, gameplay. Horizon is an open-world, third-person, action survival game. It features many of the same objectives and mechanics present in the genre. The map starts hidden, but can be revealed by climbing machines called Tallnecks. There are collectibles, locations of where certain machine species live, save points in the form of campfires located where no one would ever camp, and side story and mission locations. Again, pretty run-of-the-mill stuff, but it's a proven formula. Movement is smooth, climbing is fluid, and stealth is satisfying and almost always feels fair. Crafting is present and implemented well enough, but resources can sometimes be a bit vague. The inventory interface is probably the only real issue in Horizon's UI, as it can be a bit clunky and time-consuming to perform seemingly simple tasks. The inventory system could have greatly improved by simply adding a sell all vendor items command rather than sifting through everything to find the junk. Combat in Horizon is almost always hit, rarely miss. There are two main types of enemies, human and machine. Surprisingly, the easier of the two to get right is the one that suffers more. Human combat is largely reduced to one simple formula. Step one, draw bow. Step two, activate concentration. Step three, shoot enemy in the face. 
rinse and repeat that, and bandits will be extinct in no time flat. And in its defense, it is fun to do, just a little too effective for other options. Granted, there are other weapons that can be useful against human enemies, but they are far more dangerous to use than simply hiding in a bush and shooting people in the face. All this in mind, it is undeniably satisfying to stealthily eliminate human enemies, but a few minor tweaks here and there could have helped. Combatant Horizon manages to stand out far more when fighting against machine enemies. Individual species have their own abilities and weaknesses, all of which can be removed when dealt enough specific damage. When removed, the machine is no longer able to use that ability the part was used for, so players having trouble dealing with certain attacks can focus that part of origin. Fighting against the machines is thrilling and requires the player not only to use the variety of tools and weapons in their inventory, but to plan their attack as well. It is easy to get overrun in an encounter, and usually the best course of action is escaping to fight another day. Occasionally, machine attacks can feel a little too unpredictable, but it keeps the player on their toes and interested. It also would have been nice if overriding machines would have been a little more rewarding, but overall, fighting with the machines truly feels like a dangerous and strategic hunt, and that's exactly what the developers were going for. Finally, let's talk about story and writing. As with many open world games, Horizon can sometimes suffer from disjointed storytelling. The player could be one quest away from completing a chain and think, hmm, I need to upgrade all of my bags and quivers, then go on a harvesting spree across the continent for what feels like months, then be greeted by the NPC waiting for them with a line like, Ah, you're here just in time! Is it a big deal? Not really. But it's worth pointing out that the storytelling in Horizon is similar to games found in its genre. The main story is interesting, engaging, and keeps the player motivated, and many of the side missions offered surprisingly rewarding narratives on their own. One of the greatest strengths about Horizon's writing is the amount of memorable content outside of the main story arc. It makes the world feel populated and full of unique inhabitants. Aloy as a character can be a bit shaky. The player is given options that carry a satisfactory amount of weight, but it can sometimes feel like the developers weren't sure how heavy-handed to go with a female protagonist. She'll sometimes react to things rather unnaturally, but a lot of these occur in the early parts of the game. So it seems a bit like the developers were trying a hair too hard to avoid their protagonist seeming weak. When her dialogue goes right, which it almost always does, Aloy can be witty, clever, caring, strong, and at the appropriate times, vulnerable, scared, and miserable. Luckily, the small inconsistencies in her dialogue were not enough to take away from her personality. The cast is diverse and exceptionally well-balanced, featuring a great variety in allies and villains alike, which is great to see. But the one real error in Horizon is in the behavior and depiction of the machines. At times, the mission structure and dialogue almost want you to pity them, but much of the game conveys them as mere hunks of metal. This creates a sort of disconnect from the lifelike way they move and communicate, as if the developers themselves weren't sure if they pitied them, but failed to make it a moral presence in the game. They decided to make the machines choose fight over flight, but to be peaceful with each other. And with that decision, they missed an opportunity to breathe a tremendous amount of life into their world. The machines could have been presented as wildlife with a working food chain and a complex ecosystem. Passive machines would have inspired emotion and a sense of natural connection when they were hunted, not fought, because the player needed their materials to thrive. When everything is hostile and dangerous, there's never a question of morality or responsibility. Predatory machines would have been dramatically more fear-inducing if they sent other machines fleeing in terror after they burst into the fields they were grazing on. The potential of such scenarios are impossible to ignore when looking at the two-dimensional humans versus machines mechanic that exists in the game. So, should you play Horizon Zero Dawn? First, let's get some things out of the way to determine if you shouldn't. If you're sick and tired of the open world formula, that hasn't changed here. It's implemented well in the game, but it's hardly different. If you don't like games that require a lot of time, you may want to look elsewhere, as Horizon has quite a bit of content to explore, and doing so isn't overly quick. Machine interactions are more straightforward than some early promotional media may have suggested, and human combat can be a bit one-dimensional. The story is probably not going to blow your mind, but it is more than sufficient for the game. Finally, if the idea of non-traditional combat isn't your thing, that's another red flag. If any of those things sound like large problems, Horizon probably isn't the game for you. 
Now, here's what could make you want to play Horizon. The game is beautiful. The environment, character models, machines, weapons, just about everything in this game looks phenomenal, especially in 4K HDR on a PS4 Pro. Sound design is superb. It is immersive, unique, and entirely believable. Characters are diverse and memorable. Combat is snappy and responsive, and almost always feels fair, balanced, and rewarding. Machines feel grand in scale and thrilling to engage and defeat. If you like open world games, you'll like Horizon's implementation of the genre mechanics. If you're looking for a lot of bang for your buck, Horizon has an exceptional amount of content that will keep you busy for quite a while, and a great deal of it is engaging and exciting. Horizon succeeds in being exactly what most people think it will be. So if the thought of hunting dangerous and uniquely exciting machines throughout a vast, foreign world full of secrets excites you, then you should play Horizon Zero Dawn.